in a short time, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel now that you have been announced? Because this, this comes as a surprise to me and I'm sure the Philippines will be surprised. I'm glad you're surprised. I, I was really surprised myself. I mean, this all unfolded within the last two weeks. And it's been a whirlwind. So I'm just I'm so excited. It's definitely set and now I'm sitting here in front of all of you. So I'm, I'm just excited. I'm ready to start this journey and unfold the best myself that I can be. Because the last time I saw you was in a Viva movie, the Malacanang movie, right? Uh, yes. So are you on leave now from Viva? So they're, they're supportive with everything that I do. And I mean, this is such a blessing to be a Miss Universe, New Zealand. So they are supportive. I, I spoke to Boss Vic this morning and he said, um, I'm so happy for you. So that, that made my heart very happy to hear from the big boss himself. Which means no movies or anything for the next... Miss Universe will definitely be my only focus right now. I mean, all I'm looking is, is forward and how I can give back and this is definitely my focus. How long did you know, uh, when did you know that you will be, that you have been appointed? Like, when did this happen? Literally two weeks, I think. Oh, really? It's been so fast. But like, so he called you, Josh, or? Yes, the conversation just kind of happened with, with Eugene and... Yeah, they told me that they now had the franchise and they're looking to appoint a, a Kiwi and it's, it just really just happened. <laughs> I'm still sort of coming to terms with it. And, and the, adrenaline, the adrenaline was pumping during that press con and I'm just so grateful. So what makes you feel that you are the best um, representative to, of New Zealand to Miss Universe? So I really what is it with Frankie? So I really feel like I'm unapologetically myself. I mean, the, the journey that I've taken in life, I feel like for pageantry, it's been a 10-year journey for me. Um, I think some of you may not know, not know, in 20, yeah, we don't know. In 2014, I auditioned for Miss Universe New Zealand when I was living in Australia. 10 years ago, so I'm 29 now. And that wasn't able to push forward because I, I went with a, a different opportunity. And it's, it's, pageantry has always been put aside. So I feel like now it's all led me to this very moment 10 years later. I, I'm more wiser, I have more experience, I've traveled, and I feel like I'm at a position where I'm not searching for myself anymore. I'm, I know who I am, I know where I belong, and I'm excited to, to share that blessing and empower other women and more key women to, to want to participate in pageantry. So you actually feel more Kiwi than Filipino? You can be both. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm here standing in front of you in the Philippines with New Zealand on my sash and my father is New Zealand, my mother is Pinoy. So I love that question because it's just like, how can you say you're more than one or another? I'm definitely both. I feel that in my blood. I mean, I was born and raised in New Zealand and it's, it, I'm just so blessed to be able to represent New Zealand on stage. We haven't had a girl from New Zealand in four years since before the pandemic. So yeah, I think We've only had one winner, right? Yeah, we had one winner uh, in 1983, Lorraine Downs. So mm -hmm. I, I, she was beautiful in a blue gown, and it was her first time out of the country when she she won that. It was in America. So yeah, I would love to meet her one day. So I guess every. All the time you were in showbiz and everything, like being a beauty queen was really on your mind. Like it's all you ever want. It's, it's all my friends are beauty queens. I see what they go through. Like, I know it takes a, a lot of hard work. Like Diana Mackey, she was, they called us the Kiwi sisters in PBB, throughout PBB. So she was in Bini Bini two years ago. I watched her in Araneta mm -hmm. and also Karen uh, Mendoza, Laurie. So a lot of my friends are obviously Celeste. She was our Miss Universe Philippines. And there's so many beautiful beauty queens. Michelle D, who I've been lucky enough to meet through Josh. And, mm -hmm. It's seeing them and who they are and how they change people's lives, I, I would love nothing more than to be able to use the platform that I already have, but also give it more authenticity and for, to be a bigger reach in this universe, in New Zealand, so I can really speak about the things that are, I'm passionate about. So making a difference is what attracts uh, being a beauty queen to you? Definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, like I feel like my 20s I went through, I'm now 29, I, I've been focusing on myself. and. It's it's not selfish to be able to work on yourself, you know. I feel I'm now able to share that and help others now that I've experienced my own life. And I, that's why I love that they raised the age limit, you know. I, I felt last year would have been my last chance. And I, I, I really felt in my heart that Sayang, Diva, I didn't get to ever really try my thoughts at walking on stage. So this is my 
I'm going to be on the national stage. It's my first time. <laughs> Pero Frankie, do you have a dual passport? I do not. So ah, I, I, I'm you, in the all process along. of getting my Filipino passport also. You're in the process? Yes. So um. uh, hopefully so. my mom comes here this weekend. So I'm excited to celebrate with her soon. And ah, so you really have a New Zealand passport? I, I want to have, no, I already have a New Zealand passport. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you, you just have a New but Zealand. Because I was about to ask you, why did you not join the Philippine pageants? Right. Besides from the, the, the roles, and, um, it's kind of been on my mind, but to be honest, the, the stars haven't aligned. I was focusing more on, on acting in the last few years, and the opportunity has just always been not aligned, I guess, and now uh. I feel like, I know now why it was to this very moment, because University of New Zealand is my destiny. Can you tell us more, like, in school, were you a beauty queen as well? No. So ah, okay. I come from Dunedin. It's quite a small town. There's no showbiz. There's no... What's the name? Can you spell? It for me. D U N E D I N. D U N E D I N. So it's, it's got a lot of um, indigenous culture, like Mori, but also Scottish. So I think maybe they would pronounce it like a Scottish. So it's it's a mixture in my town, but there's no real pageantry. We have this thing in New Zealand called Tall Poppy Syndrome, and it's where what? Tall Poppy Syndrome, uh. and it's it's sort of a feeling that maybe people get that they like to cut down someone who's trying to aim for the stars. And I feel that maybe is why maybe pageantry isn't such a big thing, or they're scared to like promote themselves or to push themselves in a platform like that. So I just really hope that this sparks a new wave of Kiwis to join. Like, yeah, because as they say, there are more sheep than people. True, <laughs> it's true. It's population but of five beautiful million. people. <laughs> I think so. Can you tell us more about childhood? Did, did it involve sheep? Yeah. <laughs> Their so childhood? I, I actually grew up in a very small town called Waitati, just out of Dunedin for my younger years. Um, it's yeah, it's definitely far stretches of hills and, and roads for miles. You can drive for miles and not see people <laughs> if you want. But it's, I do know it's very picturesque, though, and stunning. scenic. I haven't been to New Zealand. It's very stunning. The fresh air, the, the produce, the milk, the dairy products. In my hometown, we have a Cadbury factory. So when I was um, in school, we would take a school excursion to do the Cadbury factory tour. That was probably my highlight of the school. So from sweet tooth ago. So uh, yeah, so we if you see Cadbury chocolate, it's from my hometown originally. Yeah. So if there's one thing that you'd like to tell people about New Zealand, what it is, what would it be? So <laughs> New Zealand is so much more than Lord of the Rings. That's maybe the first yeah. thing you think of. Visit Queenstown. That's my number one favorite city. I feel like in a day or two, you could really see so much. It's known as the adventure capital, so you can go bungee jumping. You can go to a winery if you want to do something more relaxed. Or take the gondola out to the luge and overlook the beautiful mountains and the lakes. It's really so stunning. So visit Queenstown. That's what I would say. But really, Frankie, you surprised us. <laughs> you really surprised us. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yes, yes. Were the other friends surprised too? They're they're probably learning as we speak. I didn't tell. That was very. <laughs> but it will be out in the news, you know. No, yeah, I haven't checked my phone yet. <laughs> Do you have your glam team already? Like, who will train you for the passerella so and all that we're styling? We're just started, so we're really putting it all together now. But I really trust in the, the Eugen group. Yes, he brought in like, oh my God, those. Those candidates from last year. Imagine we had the first ever Pakistan last year and she made it to the top 20. Insane. And Miss Egypt, they were on a three year hiatus and the Eugen group revived it with their, under the reign of Miss Universe Egypt. And then we have Bahrain. They were the first to wear the burkini in the swimsuit round. So they've done all these like milestone things in pageantry and I just can't wait to see what we can do with Miss Universe New Zealand. So, Frankie, last question Is this really your first pageant? So there's been chances, there's been times where I went to join, but I've never stepped on foot and so really you're first. competed. Yeah, you're right. a pageant virgin. I'm a, a rookie. Something fresh. You want someone fresh. Something fresh, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready at this point in my life to, to, wow. for this challenge. This is so fun and exciting to, to have you. Well, at least you're still Filipina, you know. Even though you represent New Zealand, you're still Filipina. You can definitely be both. Sure. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.